the problem words presented by the institute of english grammar Hi guys today i am going to start about the problem words you know that the word is a powerful tool and if used correctly it becomes a potential means for conveying and communicating ideas and feelings but if its usage is erroneous it hampers comprehension therefore it is important to learn how to use the right word in the appropriate way at the appropriate place This section consists of illustration and example of this problem words. Study this problem words and understand the distinction by the usage and the guidelines and meaning given with each pair. Abbreviation and acronym. Number 1, abbreviation and acronym. The abbreviation GDA stands for Delhi Development Authority. The acronym UNESCO U N E A C O stands for United Nation Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or phrase whereas an acronym is a speakable word from the initial letters of a series of words to indicate the whole phrase number 2 abdicate and abrogate emperor edward h made up his mind to abdicate the throne of england the management decided to abrogate an agreement with the union the verb abdicate means to give up the verb abrogate means to cancel accept and accept one should accept one's defeat in case one wants to progress Next, accept, promote. Everyone accepted the proposal. The verb accept means to consent. The verb accept means to exclude, and it can be used for, but also. Number four, adverbs and adverbs. In spite of this adverse condition, Rohit went ahead with his mission. He was averse to my proposing to go to Simla. The adjective adverse implies opposition, whereas adjective adverse implies unwillingness rather than opposition about it and abandon it
due to some technical fault the flight today was aborted due to the paucity of funds the project was abandoned for the time being the verb aborted means terminated due to fault the adjective abandoned means given up